Hi, it's Dean here from EUJuicers.com. Today we have something really very special for you, something we've been looking forward to for a while. We've been keeping it hush-hush for a little bit, um, and the day has finally come. It's the new sauna juicer by Omega. Uh, as you can see, it comes in three colors. We have the Ferrari red, the chrome, and the pearl white. The pearl white, um, you can see here, it has the black highlighted details, which really brings the, the, the pearl white uh, a little more to, 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 to shine, and you can see it maybe hopefully in the video. So what's so special about this juicer? Let's have a closer look at it. What are the benefits of the new sauna juicer by Omega? Um, first and foremost, I would have to say uh, uh, is the larger filling chute. What does the larger filling chute actually do for me? Um, first of all, it's going to save you time in the actual um, pre-pre-preparing, I guess you would say. You don't need to cut the fruits and vegetables so small anymore. The next benefit would be that because the filling chute is actually practically the same width as the auger, um, it, it becomes basically self-feeding as well. So you're not needing to push down and use the pusher anymore, which brings us to the pusher. The pusher has the silicone ring as well, which comes in quite handy when you're doing such things as overripe fruits, softer fruits, mealy apples, things of this nature. Um, moving right along, as you can see, we have the two containers, the pulp container, 100% uh, stainless steel, and the juice container, which is of course made of glass. Um, when we come to the glass part, I would like to mention here that the Sana by Omega is the first ju juicer which is 100% BPA free. Um, a lot of juicers will say that they're having a juicer which is BPA free, but um, it's, it's still, for example, the juice container is made with polycarbonate, so you've got your BPA in there. So you always want to make sure if it's actually 100% BPA free, all parts. Um, moving right along, you can see we've got three sieves here. Um, the blank screen, which is uh, common and, and, and uh, with most horizontal juicers included. Um, but what isn't included is the new coarse screen. The new coarse screen is really beneficial when you're doing your softer fruits again. Um, and of course the finer sieve, which is, is basically for everything hard, soft, leafy, doesn't matter. Um, here we have the four nozzles for the pasta and noodles set. And a nice little feature, which a lot of people have already complimented, is the juicing uh, screen for, for the juice container. So it's going to catch the rest of the pulp, giving you a thinner juice. And of course, the, the cleaning brush. Now, what can all of this do? Um, one thing I almost forgot is, is the handle here. The handle is now built in. So it's quite nice. If you, if you look, you're able to move the cord wherever you need it. So if you're plugging it in here or here in the back, the, the plug is no longer in your way or the cord is no longer in your way. Um, what does all of that boil down to at the end of the day and what does it do with the juicing results? Let's have a look at that now. All right, it's time to juice uh, carrots. I'll show you a little bit of the self-feeding, how it actually works. So as you can see, you're not really even needing to push her anymore, which is a nice feature. Um, but let's say when you really do get a, a really fat one, see if I have a fat carrot in here. Um, the object when juicing isn't to really push the carrot down into the juicer as fast as you can. You know, what you want to do, you can see it's trying to push the carrot up with each revolution. What you want to do is just try to keep it there so it's able to take a piece off. Not pushing it down, just holding it in place. All right, so just finishing up here, a little bit of carrot juice. The juice will run off for a second. All right, moving right along, one of everybody's favorites and something a lot of us should do a lot more of red beets. We get a lot of phone calls sometimes where people will call us up and say, yeah, I was juicing red beets and you know, my, my juicer is squeaking really loud. 
and you can hear it's just it's because of the consistency of the beats. It has nothing to do with the juicer at all. Leafy greens, something most of us should get a lot more of in our diet. And these are where the horizontal juicers really do shine. Um, as we mentioned in, in previous videos, you know, anybody that takes leafy greens even a little bit serious, you know, with these longer fibers and everything, your best bet is almost always going to be a horizontal juicer. The reason for this is that the longer fibers tend to block up on the on the vertical juicers, which is definitely not the case with the horizontal juicers. Yeah, okay. Uh, finishing up with the leafy greens, I mean, really pleased with the results here. Basically zero foam uh, buildup and no blocking as well, and that's, that's really the way the results should look like when it comes to leafy greens in any form or anything with longer fibers. Pineapple time, again coming over to the longer fibers and the softer fruits, better bet if you switch over to the coarser screen, you're going to get your better results there. <coughs> better results meaning uh, it's not going to block up on you and uh, the, the, whole, the whole process uh, is basically a continuous process without having to stop so many times if the sieve should happen to actually block up from the, from the softer fruits or the longer fibers combined with the, each other. Pineapple juice coming up. Okay, we all know what this is. Pomegranate time. We get asked a lot of times if it's okay for, for, for them to juice pomegranates with their juicer. Basically, you can do pomegranates with any juicer. Okay, just finishing up with this. Can't wait to have a taste of this one. Cucumbers. Good for you and will hydrate from the inside out. Tomato time.
something almost nobody can live without, orange juice. So, let's juice some grapes for you here now. Okay, watermelon juice. A lot of a lot of people loving this in the summer times on those hot summer days. Moving right along here, apple a day. Okay, just finishing up now, we have a sort of mint and a rainbow of juices here. So we've been doing some serious juicing. Now we want to show you what the, what the cleaning consists of. Okay, to the cleaning part now. Um, what I do is just remove the whole front attachment and take it apart from there. One, two, three, and then begin with the juicing. Uh, I'm sorry, with the cleaning. <laughs> You'll see that the most of the parts, you know, you don't, you just need to rinse it. It's just a rinsing process with everything until it comes down to the screen or the sieve, as some may call it. And for this, of course, you need the brush. One time all the way around, one time on the inside, and there you are, finished. Okay, that was our presentation of the Sana Juicer by Omega. Um, first of all, we of course hope that you enjoyed the video, and secondly, we hope that we were able to do our job and really show you the benefits of what the Sana Juicer is able to give you. Um, please note, that being said, that this was a 100% strictly juicing video. Our next video, which we're going to be doing very, very soon, will be showing you exactly what the Sana is capable of doing other than juicing, and there's a couple really interesting things, very something very new very very new coming at you so stay tuned for that and as always if you have any questions you know how to get a hold of us at eujuicers.com thank you bye-bye